If you're looking to get some affordable off-grid power and you don't know where to start, you're going to want to stick around for this video because we're going to be going over portable power stations paired with foldable solar panels. This is as easy as it gets for off-grid power. It's just plug and play, no setup required. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, this is Camping with Shane. Now in today's video, we're gonna be going over some off-grid power. Super easy, no setup required, like I said before. So let's jump into it. So we got our we got to start somewhere with a portable power station. This is what's going to be providing our power. And then we got our foldable solar panel, which is going to be charging up this station. So my favorite part about a setup like this is there's no setup required. And you might be like, what do you mean by that? Well, power station, once you get your power station, it's ready to go. And then, all right, never mind, there is a little bit of setup required. All you gotta do unclip your panel it's foldable so it folds open and then it has some legs on the back that kick down or you can just lay it flat on the ground and then to hook it up it's super nice it has this little carrying case now it's got two different connections so I just plug it right in and then set up my panel and I'm charging and then it has these clips too to keep it nice and together. So this is a super simple but effective way to have power when you're out on the road or you're camping or just doing anything or just having power at your house. Like me personally, I uh, I use this a lot when I'm just hanging out like on the couch and I want I need to charge my phone. I can just have this next to me and I don't have to worry about an outlet or grabbing an extension cord. So it's super nice just to have. So let's talk about, you know, some things uh, I use this for. Uh, I use it for my PlayStation and my TV. And then I also use it to charge my phone, charge my laptop, charge my drone, charge my GoPro, just whatever I need power for. I can, you know, plug lights into it. I can plug a fan into it. Just whatever I need power for. So, you know, this setup is really a game changer because you don't have to wire anything. You don't have to, you know, really print. You don't really have to know anything about it. All you have to do is plug it in and use it. So is super beginner friendly and you know like I said you can get different sizes you can get a smaller size if you're just looking to charge to like maybe just your phone and some lights you know maybe a you know portable power bank like a smaller power station and then just whatever you need so think about how much power you're gonna need how much power you're gonna want and then also Think about how much solar you're gonna to want to get because this 100 watt panel has been perfect for this setup because you know it only get it you know it pulls about 80 watts and um, 560 so it takes about if it was dead it would probably take about uh, six out seven hours I really don't just like drain the whole battery I can make this last without charging it for a couple of days but it's nice to have that solar panel so then during the day when I'm not using it or I'm out I can just you know, put the solar panel out and then have it charging up. So then it's always kind of like just keeping it nice and charged up. So then if you do need to use a little bit more power, you're going to have that power there. So this is a super basic setup. I think I spent about $260, $200 on the power station and $60 on the solar panel. And I was actually using this for like four months when I was living in my van. And it was absolutely perfect. Yeah, so this is my setup. You know, like I said, this is super easy to use. You know, just plug and play. You just set up your solar panel, plug it in, and you can get your, your power station charged up. You know, I would recommend this to anyone who camps, living in their car, living in their van, on the road, just like to take a lot of road trips, or you live in an area where maybe the power goes out a lot. So it's nice to have your own source of power. So I absolutely love this setup. It has been a game changer because I've always wanted Pat, like, you know, like a big power station, but they're honestly, they're pretty expensive, but I found this one, it was a good deal. And I'm gonna link these two in the description. I know they, I can't find these exact models because I got them about a year ago, but there's a new updated version of this station that is actually looks really nice. So you guys check that out, see if you wanna get it. It charges a lot faster and it's just a lot more updated. So it looks really nice, so. Check that out, and then check out the Panana 200 watt solar panel. 
I would recommend getting a 200 watt. Um, I kind of wish I got a 200 watt. The 100 watt's been fine, but you know, the 200 watt, I believe it pretty much folds down to the same size. It just might be a little thicker. This solar pan, this one is super thin. It's super easy to just store, just to throw in and go. So I'm curious about that 200 watt panel. That would be really nice. Like I said, this only has a max of 120 watts of solar input, but you still get 40 more if you're using that, you know, 200 watt panel rather than the 80 watts you get off this one. So yeah, if you guys got any questions, drop them down below. Yeah, look around. Look on Amazon. There's tons, tons of power stations out there. Allway is a pretty good brand. I would highly recommend them. They make them. They make smaller stations. They make bigger ones. So because they're they're more on the the budget side, they're a little bit less expensive than the, the name brands. But they all they all come from China. They all do the same thing. All you're doing is getting power from it. So. All right, I think that's going to wrap up the video for today. I just want to kind of go over my simple uh, off-grid solar setup. So if you guys like the video, make sure you like it and then drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Stow. Stow. Stow.